I was in the locker room at the gym, and on the TV they had this investment show where the host makes these very loud and brash predictions. And he's kind of notorious for having been incredibly wrong about a bunch of big bets, big recent bets. And I wondered aloud why he was still on TV. And this older guy says to me very gently, for a thousand years or so, the Oracle of Delphi and the Temple of Apollo would utter prophecies from a trance, and people would venture from enormous distances and give substantial cash offerings to the Pythian priestess in exchange for Apollo's answers to their questions. Merchants would ask if they should enter a business deal, and lovers would ask if they should get married, and sometimes kings would ask what day they should declare war on. And the prophecies themselves were often vague riddles or metaphors, and there is some evidence that a pretty good proportion of these guesses were dead wrong. But people kept coming. And the old guy says to me, now, even though it was thousands of years ago, there were some pretty sharp operators in ancient Greece, and they figured out that an even surer bet than having the oracle tell you the future was bribing the oracle to tell other people some bullshit that helped you. For example, if you were hanging on to a lot of worthless land, it might be very profitable for the oracle to tell a bunch of rich people that it was incredibly valuable or that your goat gave magical milk. And really, I said, the oracles would take bribes to give people bad information? And he said, when someone predicts the future loudly, remember that it is often more profitable to be deliberately wrong than it is to be right. And that is why I go to the gym 